already gained 1,185 experience. Was that, a, was that before we came in here or after? Uh, find Merwald. Inside the keep, I found a spirit entombed within the throne that sits in the Great Hall. She has opened the way down into the depths of the keep in hopes that I might find Merwald somewhere below. So we'll get into formation. Take those farmers by surprise. Almost time. Die and Heather scouted the village last night. They're rounding up the rest of the party now. An elven man turns to face you. His cheeks, his forearms, and the cartilage of his long pointed ears are smeared with indigo and blue paints. He grins wickedly beneath a thatch of wild hair. What party? Don't worry. Everyone remembers the raid was your idea. The Rio had to go along with it after you got the rest of the clan riled up. No one wants it said that the Nine Claws were too cowardly to stand with the rest of the tribe when the foreigners desecrated our ruins. The Rio? The ragged stripes of pain over his face twisted as he laughs. You may not like them, but they're still our elders for now. A dead gray tooth peers from beneath his lips. That was clever, drawing the support of the community first. But the time you approached the Riau, they had no chance but they had no choice but to support us. There's no doubt you'll join their ranks one day, so long as no farmer's pitchfork fells you tonight. He laughs. The tribes need more leaders like you. Women who value deeds over words. He reaches towards your cheek but stops midway, his splayed fingers quivering as a tremor of doubt runs through him. You were right. We were too soft when the foreigners first came, and now they humiliate us. We'll be soft no more, and the invaders will learn to leave us alone once and for all. So really, attackers eh? on all sides. No problem. It's the it's the uh, chronicle of a conflict, but not necessarily a conflict that we have to worry about. Oh, three mechan so three mechanic, and four lockpicks. I have the lockpicks for that. Mm -hmm. I might have to stock up on lockpicks soon. But Shh. let's see what I can find behind this door. Hopefully, more reward. And l do you want to pick the lock? Yes. All right, hundred experience earned. What's behind this door? Oh. Keep away from us! Leave us! A large, liver-spotted man, barrel-chested and paunchy, cowers in the far corner of the room, his white hair a tangled, stringy mess. He covers his face and chest with trembling hands, unable to look in your direction. No. Keep away from us. Leave us! Maybe we should come back later? Are you Merwald? He looks up over his hand, the muscles around his eyes twitching, he begins whispering to himself in sharp hisses as though having an argument. All at once he stops shaking, a sudden calmness falling over him. His head tilts forward slightly and he looks you dead in the eye, like a cornered animal about to pounce. His voice turns suddenly raspy. Mayor Wald isn't here, and he isn't fooled. He has sent for no callers. Be gone, deceiving spirit! Oh man, so he's probably possessed. Let's see, I'm a watcher, I met a woman in the Guild of Vale who, th who thought you could help me, or please, there's something wrong with me, I need Merwald's help, or I won't leave until I've spoken to Merwald, or I'm no spirit, do I look like any spirit you've seen, or you better start making some sense right now or I'll get worse than any spirit could give. So do I be stubborn about talking to Merrywald? Do I just try to explain the situation? Or... I, I'm concerned because saying Watcher can have bad effects. But do if I'm glib about the fact that I'm not a spirit, that could also lead to a problem. I'm just gonna start trying to explain things. I'm a Watcher. I met a woman in Gilded Vale who thought you could help me. Merrywald will speak with you. But you will maintain your distance. Or you'll have me to answer to. The old man turns his body away and has another and has another muttered, sputtering argument facing the wall. When he turns back to you, he has taken a confident stance, and his chest is puffed out like a soldier's. A new strength enters his voice, so he has some sort of uh, he has some sort of soldier personality that's taking over in this situation to protect him. Come to speak to Mayerwald, Mayerwald, whose touch is poison, Mayerwald. 
Who knows not his effect? I was told I am a watcher and that you could tell me more about it. And about, uh, uh, tablet of some worth after that once you two are finished, of course. A window. Window to the ether where spirits dwell. Peer and reach into it. Speak and listen through it. A watcher sees souls, reads them, knows their pasts, souls of the living, souls of the dead, an empath, and the souls see them back. Used it to help beings in both realms, did I. What the gods wanted of me, thought I. The gods put me in the world for vengeance, and I obliged. It was the gods' wishes that we protect those lands. My way was the only way to remove the foreigners. Little I knew. He shrinks down and is himself once more. He cradles his face with shaking hands. I was accosted by spirits on the way here. What do they want? No. No! Forgive me! Forgive me! He covers his mouth with his hand, his breath convulsing, his eyes red and exhausted. Oh, I that's my only option left, is to say he's lost his mind? I don't want to say that. I feel like that's a bad approach to this conversation. You seem to have lost your mind. Lost? No. Found more of it. Too much. Too much to bear. An awakening. Is this the opposite of what the dwarf woman said? She mentioned that uh, as over time, fr souls become fragmented and weaker and they take pieces of other souls. What if he was trying to fix that, like she said some people were trying to do, but what he accomplished is he essentially mashed multiple souls together and now he's that's why he has multiple personalities and why he's losing his mind is because he is multiple people. And maybe, and that could have caused some sort of rift, causing all those souls to come in. Or my head's just too much in Dragon Age Inquisition mode right now. Both are possible. Aloth's eyes narrow as he looks at the old man. How could a simple awaking have driven you to this? There's a lore requirement I can fulfill, but I'm not a lore type person. So, what's an awakening? Many lifetimes we have. Souls into womb and exit corpse. Carry with them all experiences, all knowledge, all identities. Yet, we do not remember. Hidden from us. What end? What end? Only the gods know. Certain things can stir memories from lives long buried. Awaken the old memories. The old personalities. Memory, personality, identity, any might resurface. Or all. He looks again at the door behind you. And I seem to be having a conversation with several of them right now. Ghosts of the mind. Meowald has lost control. Meowald's body no more. The spirits I passed. What are they? Spirits and not spirits. Always whispering to Meowald, reminding him of his mistakes. No sleep. Watchers see memories before them, form them from the essence of their own souls. Once Meowald awakened, he could not make them leave. Gave them more form, not less. The spirits are memories from previous lives? Troubled memories, angry memories, pulling Meowald back, reminding him his mistakes. Marauder and soldier, soldier and marauder, how could they know? I've seen apparitions like these elsewhere since I became a watcher. Oh no, 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 no. You too. You, too. All at once, in spite of his abject misery, his expression changes to one of utmost sympathy. P 
Poor man. Poor man. They will take you too. What? An inevitable madness that can't be right. Kenna folds his arms. There's always an answer to be found if you look hard enough. You're saying I'll end up like you. So fragile, the Watcher's mind. So real, his memories. Once awakened, how can he sleep? He pouts as though holding his mouth closed so that the answer won't escape. Let's see, why do these past lives still trouble you? How do you tell a spirit from memory? If I'm awakened to a past life, how could that have happened? Let's see, how do you tell a spirit from a memory? Fragmented our memories. Stuck in time. Mindless. Cruel. Never far. Why do these past lives still trouble you? My fault. All my fault. Soldier and marauder. Soldier and marauder and Mayor Walt. No forgiveness for what's past. No undoing what's done. No sleep. No sleep for the Watcher. War there was all around. War of stone. War of tree. War of tree. Oh, of course. The Broken Stone War. And the War of Black Trees. This is what the elderly period of the Erdrin... Uh, this was in the early period of Erdrin colonization. Fighting between the Deerwood colonists and the native Galanfathans, you see. But that was a long time ago. Death we brought to the settler men. We the Nine Claws. Claws of Nine. Worse what we did to the women. For love of the gods. The gods love. For their love. So he's t it sounds like now he's taking other people's mistakes and other people's sins and he's internalizing them and he can't tell which things he did and which things other people did now. I met one of your memory spirits. There was talk of a raiding village. Merwald's voice becomes raspy and he is somewhere else in place and time speaking to someone unseen. Hold her down. Head her. Give this Addy a bitch an air that belongs an air Gladfath. <laughs> Merwald cringes himself again, watching something he can't bear to see. Shaking his head over and over, he wails. His soul is marked by flame, and those marks will never heal. His trial has broken him, but better than but better that than to live in weakness. Let's see, I can say go on. Take your time, it's over now. It was long ago. Continue when you're ready. Keep talking, I'm enjoying this. You were a monster. You deserved this, even for a past life. Why would you deserve that for a past life? It's not you're not the same person. <laughs> Terrible things happen in war, living with that. What you've done is part its own penis. Uh that's enough. I don't want to know anymore. I'm gonna say take your time. It's over now. It was long ago. Continue when you're ready. The boy. The boy. The baby boy. The boy. Conceived in the raid. Conceived by force. Vessel for Marauder. Slain in the raid. Marauder and the boy. Marauder and soldier. A baby conceived by the raider. What do you mean it was a vessel for him? For the soul. A marauder's soul, same soul, one soul, boy's soul, marauder's soul, raised in lies and vengeance, raised to soldier, raised for the fire, born for the fire. I can say, then that was his mother I met in the keep, she told him his father was killed by the raiders, or raised for the fire. Raised for the fire? You'll get no pity from me. The crimes of the Nine Claws clan in the last war are still unavenged. But the gods are just. They have led me here. In my father's name, every one of you will burn. Light it. Durant smirks. Burning his own, and why not? If they had been wicked and earned their punishment. He is weak of mind and soul. To see him cower before the flame, that should give you uh, the measure of him. Merwald's shoulders slump. His, he rocks back and forth, 
Agitated, he mutters to himself, oblivious to your presence. Soldier and marauder, lies and vengeance, and dead villages. All dead. All dead. What for? What for? I don't know. How little we know. If I'm awakened from a past life, how would that have happened? You were reminded of it. Strong memories, lingering lives, they dwell near the surface, waiting to be remembered, waiting to take your mind for their own. Meowald sat at his hearth and watched his fire, watched the wood burn. Then came the memory of another fire and burning wood and screams. His face trembles involuntarily. There must be some way to make these memories go away. No. Always there. Always remembered. Can't forget. Can't unsee. I didn't just remember. Someone caused this. They wore masks and spoke of books and keys and a queen. There was a man there. He seemed familiar to me. Keys of lead. Books of burden. Queens that were known to me are they, the Leaden Key. The Leaden Key. It seems we share an enemy, Peril. Assassins and Watcher Wakers both. They certainly keep busy. Let's see. What can you tell me about this Leaden Key? Secrets. Secrets and deceptions and schemes. Who knows their answers? Not they. Not they. Crossed them before. Hatred of watchers. Hatred and fear. Much we see. Threat to secrets. Who is this queen they pray to? Woodica. Goddess. Crown shattered and body burned. Binder of oaths and grudge holder. Bearer of justice. But whose? If this leaden key caused my awakening, could they undo it? Many secrets do they keep. Unawaken? Mayhap. Who else if not they? Do you know where I might find this leaden key? City of Defiance. Never far from the Queen. I need to go, so I can search for this man from the leaden key. Sleep well. Sleep well. Hold! I knew your will die. Your actions were seen. You would sooner betray us to the Adia land thieves than take orders from me. Oh, uh, no. I think we're going towards a boss fight now. I think with his other... One of his past lives is going to attack me now. Oh, no. You're confusing me with someone from a past life. I don't know if explaining it, the actual situation is going to work or not, though. Your betrayal is for nothing. Your warnings are lost on these foreigners, and their blood will be Galloway's tribute this night. I have asked the elders for the honor of claiming your head as my first trophy, and they have granted it. Beg for the Seeker God to grant you a quick death. Uh, we're in trouble. Okay, it's get ready, ready to pause, in case it doesn't automatically do it. It auto-paused, it auto good. So, turns out I should have rested before coming in here. <laughs> uh, I thought there might be more dungeon, not just... Oh yeah, you're in the next room, it's over now. But that's what happened, so... What is this? Small wind blight? Small flame blight? And... Mayerwald himself. So... Let's see here, we're not in a great position already, so... Is that Durance? Eloth? Yes. They really did force us into an awkward position, didn't they? So, gonna want to back off with Aloth hmm? and huh? Peril. Are gonna want to get away from the uh, in initial attack. Yes. Let's see here. You're already chanting. You'll be good. What? I'm gonna want a holy radiance. Actually, no. We're gonna start. Oh, I can't cast combat. Oh, no. oh, we'll just wait for combat to start in a second here. Oops, that's escape. Can I uncast Holy Radiance? I guess he's just gonna start with Holy Radiance now. So, hmm? Edir is going to start with the Wind Blight. 
The wolf's gonna start there too. Just to get this uh, rolling. It's gonna scatter a bit. Hopefully we can keep everyone good. It's a small environment, which means my, my defensive casters will hopefully be able to be more capable of keeping us going. I'm gonna try to blind our opponents if I can. Let's see, there's a flame bite, there's Marewald. I'll try to blind him specifically. Uh, we're gonna try to hobble Marewald, make him vulnerable. What? Looks like he casted Holy Radiance. Now I'm gonna try to cast Armor of Faith to keep our characters relatively safe if I can. Just uh, lots, lots of defensive casting to keep us going. There we go. So how are we doing? Kana, how much have you chanted? You've only done one phrase so far? Let's see. So this is modal, so I assume he does it when he's in combat. Let's switch him to a gun. And have him start working on these blights. Where's my dog? Send the dog in too. In from that angle if he has to. Dog, come on. You're getting stuck on hitboxes or something? Not very, not pathing very well? Our party's sticking in there pretty well so far. Is that my ranger? No, no, that's Edir. I got confused because he has a bow on his back and that confused me a bit. He's in guardian stance, which is helping us a lot, probably. The fact that we all leveled up probably helped. I might... Yeah, we, we don't seem to be taking much damage so far. I, I wonder if I was meant to level up once before coming here. I was supposed to go to a side quest or something and that would have made us eat more likely to su succeed. I'm gonna focus fire on Marewald as best as I can just because he's the one behind all of this, basically. Gonna try to cast a fire spell on him. I don't think anyone's gonna be caught in the path right now. What? Go to our priest. Let's go look for another holy... Let's see. Crit the zone of divine pa favor, increasing the might and resolve of all allies. Absolutely. Where is it? Wait, does it cast around me? See, so right click. Is there a range? It's a friendly aura. Or a range of 1.5 meters. It's not a very big me uh, range, is it? Let's try let's pick something else, actually. Uh, instill doubt. Taps into subconscious of, an ins of uncertainties, reducing the speed of all enemies in the area of effect. All right, reduce speed for the enemies. Let's go for that. Hopefully, it doesn't affect our wolf, but I'll go. I'll risk it. Marewald's about to go down, and we're pretty much we're pretty much sticking around here. I think we're good. That fire ray is definitely pretty powerful. <laughs> oh yeah, it's just wailing on him. Look at that fire spell. All right, Garrix's target's destroyed. Garrix, I'm gonna want you to carefully back away. Approach from the back. There we go. Now Garrix can flank the character, which will be good. Hmm? Adair, are you doing okay? I don't think he's being affected by the fire. Let's see. Aloth is grazing Marewald for burn damage. Aloth is grazing... All right, yeah, it seems to just be affecting Marewald. I was just worried he might be burning someone else. We're off to a good what? start. So is there another priest spell I want to use? Infirmary, Sing Seal, uh, Restore Light Endurance. Let's see. I want to increase... Yeah, let's try to install... Oh yeah, I can do it all three of my weakened characters at once, basically. Let's go for that for a recovery spell. Huh? And yeah, this character's fighting just fine. This character's fighting. Alright, yeah. Oh, it's over. <laughs> if I had just waited one more split second without pausing it, it would have been over anyway. Quest completed the old Watcher. Quest updated Time and Tide. Alright, so... The old Watcher... Mirrorworld grew hostile after our, after our... There's a lot of text here, wow. The spirit of... Oh, that's... We've said that already. Mirrorworld grew hostile after our conversation and suddenly attacked me. I had no choice but to kill him. I have gleaned what knowledge I could from his spirit, but it has shown me a vision of some place far below. A secret chamber of some kind near the bottom connected to a circular room with a table shaped like a sun. He has given me much to think about, and... He suggested my soul has been awakened to past lives as his had. If Marewald is any indication, being a Watcher with an awakened soul comes with a heavy price. He has directed me towards the City of Defiance, which he seems to be, uh, seems as good a place as any to seek out members of the Leaden Key, the group which awoke this affliction within me. Time and Tide, this is uh, Ru Kanarua's quest. He, he is eager to explore the ruins and asked for my assistance in doing so. Until then, he seems happy to accompany me in our travels. Oh, here's the update. Mayrold was too far gone to give us answers. We will have to navigate the ruins beneath the keep on our own. I may have to leave and recover and come back before we do that again. Because we're not doing great. We'll see how big the ruins are, though. Alright, what's the aftermath of this this victory? Not even slowing it down. The 
look at all those buff on my buffs on my characters. That's awesome. Some of these characters had some of these characters had four buffs. There is a chance. There's a change in the air of the keep. What was thick and suffocating to you feels somehow more breathable, as though yielding to a conquering invader. Meyerwold's body lies inert. You can feel his soul lingering there, uncertain. There is something unique about his soul, his, the soul in this place. A bond formed in decades of inhabitants and lordship that feels somehow palpable to you, as though even in death, that keep knows its former master, and the former master remembers his keep. In your mind's eye, the bond seems to be, seems to you a, as a frayed rope, ghostly and alive. Its frayed ends writhing like tide pool anemones, and you find that if you concentrate on it, you have the ability to manipulate its strands. I can say, repair the rope, binding Marywell's soul to here as an eternal warden. Sur sever the rope, allowing Marywell to pass from the world. Uh, or I can say, draw upon the energy of the rope itself, siphoning knowledge from the connection. Wow. Okay, so I can say I can keep Mayerwald here, which is that ah. Uh, I'm trying to think if that's good or bad. I can basically I can bind him here, which would be just like what happened to, with uh the woman downstairs. They could even live together basically. But what if I'm imprisoning him in a way he doesn't want to be, versus sever the rope, allowing him to pass in the world? But I'm also essentially killing him at that point. So basically, I can make a call to preserve him or not, but he may or may not want to be preserved. Or I can draw from the energy of my, and siphon it from myself, but that could be some disturbing, uh... That could be some disturbing, like, Soul Reaver type shit where I'm being a... Like, this, that's something, there's something vampiric about that that seems not good. <laughs> I'm gonna try to repair the rope to try to preserve him, and hopefully he's not... Hopefully it's not against his wishes. The frayed pieces twist and fuse, and as the bond strengthens, the fibers become metal, and the rope becomes a chain. You watch as Marywood's soul recedes into the floor, melding with it, spreading thin across it until it is one over the entire place, a silent guardian. Did I just make something bad? Uh-oh. That made it sound dark. Edar has agreed to travel with me. He seemed to have some questions he, he thought a watcher might be able to answer. Uh, bring Edar to speak with Marywood. Let's see. Uh, Mayerwald was not in any condition to answer his questions when we found him. Edar will have to decide how to proceed from here. Right, because... Oh, he's our tank too, so I really hope he doesn't leave us. But uh, he wanted to ask questions and hasn't had a chance to answer, unfor get them answered, unfortunately. Anything new for other characters? No, Durance doesn't give a shit about this whole quest we're doing right now. And... Yeah, nothing new there. Fragments of Scattered Faith. Is that the one I already checked? Yeah, it is. What about ne uh, Never Far From the Queen? Mayerwell just told me that I might find the leaden key in the City of Defiance never far from the Queen. It is there that I must go to track down the man who triggered my awakening. Mayerwell is dead and what answers he provided to me were short and cryptic. The steward in the Great Hall of Cadnua of Cadnua, appears to be the only other sentient being in the fortress. She may be able to provide some, provide some guidance. So probably we're going to want to go talk to her. We should. T I should also talk to... Oh, it specifically says there's, there's, I can talk to Kanna. All right. Poor Mayerwald. He couldn't contend with all that he knew of himself. A cruel fate. It may be my fate, too. It may, but Mayerwald knew his curse for all that he succumbed to it. Perhaps he gave you what you need to escape his fate. Let's seek out these ruins he mentioned. He may find something of- we may find something of use. I should probably try talking to Edder. Maybe he has something to say because things have not turned out war well for him. Edder scratches his head and smirks. Well, I guess talking to a crazy watcher is better than talking to no watcher at all. Uh... Nothing new, really. Okay. He had the briefest he had the briefest thought, but not much follow-up on the specific topic of what's going on here. I can do some companion and investigation later. For now, let's just find out what we got here. Let's see. Primal flame. This bright little flame leaps and sparks with magical energy. Uh primal wind. This whirling cloud of smoke and air flashes with occasional bursts of energy. I'm just gonna give these types of items to our spellcaster. Oh, add to the stash. 
Whoops. That's not what I was going for. Marywald's Grimwald. Oh, you click on it. My bad. Putting it in the middle puts it into the stash. Whoops. Uh, inventory. Stash. Oh, that, maybe it's just automatically... Oh, it could just be automatically putting... Uh, it's probably just automatically putting consumables into the stash. I mean, like, crafting items just because they take up so much space that you don't want to put them in people's inventories. That makes sense. We'll look at Marywald's Grimoire in a second because that could have some cool stuff in it, too. No problem. Oh, that was an AoE heal, so that's everything that's here. Anything to investigate? A worn book lies on the table. Its pages filled with nonsensical scrawls. A sickly sweet smell of rot rises from this half-eaten fruit. What do we have here? I can lockpick this. Got it. 50 experience. 139 gold. That's probably enough to buy more lockpicks than I spent. I think, maybe. I don't know for sure. We can't sleep in this bed? I guess it's because there, there is five of us, but still. <laughs> looking for easy rest opportunities that don't cost me more money. Uh, Three mechanics? I have enough for that. I can just open this without using lockpicks at all. We get a wand. Give that to our spellcaster to keep track of. Uh, ooh. 12 CP worth of uh, gold shelling. This golden edder sh uh, shelling is the equivalent of the deer wooden duke, equal to size and value. Did that go into someone's inventory or did that just get turned into money? I don't see it in the inventory anywhere. Yeah, I think that just got direct directly converted in into money. Bloodstone is a tradition is traditionally a dark stone, often of deep green, but the presence of pockets of iron or red jasper resembling blood spatter give the stone its name as well as its, as well as its value. Add to the stash. Okay. So, yeah. we made it out alive. That's for sure. sure. Not a whole lot happened in the Wait, surrounding area. Said? Want to discuss it? They're reacting a bit. Okay, so. It's time to go back downstairs, basically, mm -hmm. but before we do that... And I'm gonna sneak around a bit as our rogue character at double speed, just to see what we find before we move on. Uh, a fine rapier. Why not? Why not? Any baddies around? There's a wood beetle. But also potentially some other stuff. Three wood beetles. Let's keep an eye on detection. I have decent stealth. Oh, no, no, no. They're noticing me. Okay. Ivory spiderling. There's a lot of enemies around here. You know what? I don't. I don't need to deal with them right now. Let's just. Huh? Let's just get back no to where we were before. Maybe create another save real quick, just in case. In case there's some sort of event that's going to happen downstairs. But I might be able to leave now. I might be able to get back to the woman and potentially leave before things get worse. I could definitely use a trip to get more uh, camping supplies. So we're still in stealth mode. Good to know that that transitions between floors. We're gonna try to leave here and Right, no sense listen to that old bam pot. I'll go not now. So he has a split personality that has different accents. That's pretty much confirmation at this point. Cause he's just casually jumping between them. And his and his other personality has a really fun voice. Alright. I felt Mayor Walt's passing. You slew him. He gave me no choice. The steward is it saddens me to hear it, but part of me is grateful to no longer have to wait and worry in darkness. The steward is silent a moment. The air seems to chill. This place has always known its master, long as it's had one. It has a will all its own, which has little to do with the castle and much to do with the land it's built on. It looks to you as Meerwald's successor now, whether you care for it or not. A dubious honor, inheriting a fortress both broken and cursed. But in the right hands, it could be so much more. If you had only seen it in its day, will you... will you stay? That pop-up just explained that we just got... Uh, we just gained access to our stronghold, which we can apparently manage using the castle icon. So this is our base of operations. Hopefully we'll get a chance to fix it up, because right now it's kind of a mess. Uh, Mayorwald said that I must go to the City of Defiance in search of the Queen. Okay. The energy seems all at once to drain from the air. I see. If it's Defiance Bay you speak, I'm sorry to tell you that you've come a long way for nothing. The Eastern Bar- uh, 
The Eastern Barbican collapsed decades ago, and Mayerwald never got around to rebuilding it. The road here is a dead end. He got as far as gathering materials before his mind became... preoccupied. I could... make arrangements to have it prepared, repaired, if, it's, if it is your will. When it ceased to be the previous master's will, I became powerless to do anything about it, for what am I but the master's instrument? It would take time, but far less than finding another route to Defiance Bay. Oh cool, so we can actually repair the path. How do I repair the Barbican? Barbican, which is a word I've never heard before. Merriweld set aside materials for the Barbican, and they are still available to you. In the future, if you wish to make further repairs to the keep, we will need coin for supplies and labor. So you, I can improve this t place over time. We're, we're immediately in Dragon Age Inquisition territory where we have like a sky hold to repair, which I'm totally on board with. So I can repair I can repair this place over time, but the, we have specifically have materials to repair, to repair the Barbican, which I assume is some form of bridge or passageway. Uh, what does the mas being the master of, of K Nua entail? While there are many responsibilities involved in maintaining a keep, the extent to which you wish to get involved is entirely up to you, of course. Part of the reason I am here is to ensure that things run smoothly in your absence, provided we have been given instruction. If you instruct me on which repairs you wish to conduct next, I will make the necessary arrangements. These may take some time to finish, but each will provide you with an additional resource once they are complete. Given somewhere to place them, we can hire tradesmen to provide you with supplies or ingredients. Repairing the keep will increase your prestige and draw both helpful individuals and unwelcome attention from bandits and opportunists. If we can raise the keep's security in turn, things will become less of a concern. You should know, however, that the position does come with some risk. Your name will grow in fame, and you must contend with threats to the keep. And then, there are other things. Was there anything else, my lord? What did you mean by risks? Merewald's curse was his own, a watcher's curse, but his predecessors have not fared better. This is a there is a presence within the keep, or rather, far beneath it. At least, such has been the conclusion drawn by all who have come to this place. For what spirits still linger in the endless path oft speak of a master below? Every effort to settle there has failed. From the time of our Edrin colonists onward, beasts rise from the endless paths until the new lord or lady is no more. The one who dwells below, this master, does not tolerate rivals, it seems. I have seen from time to time intrepid explorers descend to lay claim to what answers they can, but none return. This is... This is the force which has kept Cadnua, K, uh, Cadnua a barren ruin and robbed me of my hopes. The Endless Paths. That, my friend, is where I must go. Where we must go, if you will go with me. Whatever devils lie beneath, I think too, I think too what knowledge we will find. Perhaps this master speaks Adrian. What are the Endless Paths? The Endless Paths of Adnua... That is the name given to the labyrinth beneath the keep. The Earl, he... We were warned by the Glanfathans that this site was cursed, and there is a legend attached to it, though at the time we thought nothing of it. The ruins were built, as it said, as is it is said, by a powerful Anguithin named Odnua, who ruled there until his people turned against him. They destroyed his endless paths and filled many of the upper tunnels with soil and stone. No one living knows how far down the tunnels stretch, and few ha who have ventured there have returned. There is much talk of riches and treasure, the promise of Anguithin relics, along with dr al alone has drawn many fortune seekers to their deaths, I fear. Who is this master below? I could not say with any certainty. I believe it must be tied to the man said to have had been the architect of the Endless Paths. The Anguithin tyrant, Adnua, some claim his, his spirit endures, or at least has laid a curse upon the site. I cannot imagine which remains, what much remains of his work, for the ruins have been there a thousand years or more. But what is left is impressive. The Earl certainly thought so. You may have seen, while below, the hand of the great statue Adnua constructed. Perhaps it is the statue of Adnua himself. 
but am I not the master of Cadnua? Of course you are. The keep would have no other, but the endless paths are a different thing entirely. It is unfortunate, really, that they are so closely entwined. If the master below is not dealt with, there will always be a threat to the keep from within. I, I know it is much to take in, but if you would remain, if you would be lord of this place, then I can only advise you seek out this foe before it destroys you. I have other questions. Yes, how can I help? Time to find this queen and the city of defiance. You must know, this queen you're looking for, Defiance Bay has no queen. The Merquins of Eider have re reigned here since the war. The only queen with any power here is Woidika. I am told they erected an exquisite temple in her honor there, but I was never able to see it. If you mean to go there, we can get started right away on repairing the Barbican. You need only tell me what you wish to do, and I'll make the necessary arrangements. Meriwold kept a ledger, as it happens, and I have taken the liberty of updating it. You can have a look if you wish. Let me see the repairs I can make. Then we'll get underway at once. The steward's voice bellies, uh, belies a giddy excitement. Know, my lord, that this is what the first and least of my a great... Know, my lord, that this is but the first and least of a great many undertakings. The keep supported a great many buildings and servants for many years. If you, if you should wish it, we can repair some of the outlying structures, and these will bring you wealth and recognition, drawing people to your service. Rebuilding the defenses will keep the grounds from becoming overrun, as they did under, Mer under Merwald's keeping. You need not choose all at once. I am pledged to your aid, and so long as you are master here, we shall always be linked. You need not step upon these grounds to speak with me, wherever your travels may take you. You can make your will known to me, if you but reach out. Oh, but first, of course, the Barbican. Okay, so there's a lot to take in. So, I have a stronghold now. It has chosen me because uh, cause I've essentially inherited it through recent uh, events. I can, I can, okay, upgrades to your stronghold may cost, uh, cost money and take time to complete. Each upgrade can add security or prestige to the stronghold or add additional functionality like restricting bonuses, uh, like resting bonuses, uh, periodic free crafting ingredients, or new stores. This is good because I was, we were already having to deal with like inns and, and uh, camping. So having a place that I can rest at, are, I, I assume for free because I own it, would come in handy. So I can repair the Eastern Barbican. The Eastern Barbican gates... Oh, it's a gate. Okay. The Eastern Barbican gates passage to the Wooden Plains, the crossroads between Cadnua, Deerford, and Defiance Bay. I can purchase that if I want to. It'll give me... It looks like two... I don't know what the rock represents necessarily, but the... Cr secu oh, security. So it gives you one prestige, two security. The Western Barbican. The Western Barbican bars the passage of invaders uh, coming across the Istayan River. Requires a main keep. It takes It'll take 900 uh, copper and three days. Two security. How many options? Oh, there's a lot of options. Oh my god. So we're not going to look at all... The good news is that all of them require other things, so I don't have to read them all right now because they're mostly not even accessible anyway. What do I do to, to make an iron... A... Uh, Let's see, events. Uh, let's see. Events occur at the stronghold. As time elapses, the higher your stronghold's prestige, the more positive the events tend to be. However, a, a high security is also important, as it can help prevent theft and kidnappings. Adventurers are, oppor adventurers are opportunities for your companions and adventurers to earn experience while they aren't in the party. Visitors can affect security and prestige of the stronghold while they are present. Are present. Some events are, offer rare items for sale during limited periods of time. Whoa, I accidentally left that. Can I open that back up? It is good to see you here. I can feel a change in the air already. There is much to do. Is there anything I can do to help? What is the state of the keep? Ah, oh, where to begin? Let's see here. Back to where we were. Status, nothing new to report. Actions, nothing here. Uh, upgrades is a nightmare, but I'm gonna want, probably going to want to purchase the... Uh, right, I already have the resources for the Barbican. Let's just click purchase. Completed. 
immediately apparently not even a time requirement uh, we'll look into the rest later hirelings hirelings can defend your stronghold from expensive collateral damage in the unfortunate event of an attack they cost money to maintain but their cost usually offsets the potential for damage hirelings also contribute to the security and prestige of the stronghold sometimes negatively you must build the, bar the barracks in order to, re to recruit hirelings. This new status thing. 3 Fawn Prima 2823, hour 3. Eastern Barbican construction completed. That was fast. I haven't even gone anywhere yet. No companions to hire. So your, your party does cap out at 6. Okay. I have 500 gold. So what can I build? Bright Hollow. Is there, anything, is there any other option right now? Oh, a lot of these just say not enough money. I need 1,400 copper points to get the main keep, for example. Okay. Alright. Not enough money. So all these ones that say not enough money, I can presumably buy whenever. Like the Woodland Trails. The Woodland Trails surround the dominion of your keep. Upgrading them will grant both the construction and the athletics bonus while rest resting in Bright Hollow. Oh, constitution, not construction. So that's just a, that's a stat bonus when I rest here. Okay. Uh, Bright Hollow Restoration. Restoring Bright Hollow will allow you to receive resting bonuses from spending the night in Bright Hollow. I think I'm going to go for that because I need a place to rest, even though it's going to cost me everything. Alright. Finished in two days. Um, that's a long time from now. I would like to rest there now. Hopefully I can still rest there to get no bonus. I hope. Either way. More upgraded quests here. Uh, things are getting chaotic. <laughs> Marywold has told me that I might find the key, key to the... Okay. Go to the temple in Wetika. I have l learned from Marywald that members of Leiden Key tend to worship Wetika and that the steward has mentioned that there is a temple dedicated to Wetika in Defiance Bay. Something new here, the master below. My, my new steward has informed me that a long ago a powerful and within con constructed a labyrinth dungeon underneath Kadnua, now known as the Endless Paths of Adnua. Adnua was killed by the people of his time for his deeds, but the steward claims that a powerful force still dwells within the ruins. Whenever someone attempts to take possession of Kadnua, this master below stirs awake and sends forth a flood of monsters to reclaim it. If I do not deal with the sinister presence, I may eventually share some of the fates of the Adherans who, uh, of the Adherans who tried to claim this land long ago. If I intend to settle in this stronghold, it is, more, it is likely I will have to contend with the master below. My steward has urged me to descend the endless paths and seek out this enemy, so that Kadnua will finally know peace. The question here is when do I pursue the endless paths, as opposed to do other quests? Because I'm sure level will be a, a concern here. And we want to know about that. Okay. There's a lot of stuff to go on here. I'll, I'll have to remember to look up the uh, Durance's religion, the Magrand because it's probably somewhere here in in deity in deities, but I need to take a break. So, oh, another thing to talk to our character, our companion with Kana. I confess, I was hoping our meeting with Mayorwald would go a little differently, but then you have gained an entire keep. I don't think I've seen anyone inherit land that quickly since Kind the Younger read her father's will. If you're an aristocrat, you apparently have a comeback about how fast people have uh, inherited stuff. Let's see, I can say, I did I did come to the Deerwood looking for a new home, or it appears that I am one of the gentry now, or I wish I could have gotten through to him, or I don't see much use of this place. I'm going to say I wish I could have gotten through to him, because was, it was tragic to get him killed. He was far gone, but don't worry, the past is there that we might learn from it. I'm sure we'll find more answers in Defiance Bay. It will give you a base from which to go searching at least. And then, there are secrets beneath the keep yet. <laughs> With you at the helm, it should be easier to explore the endless paths. It's weird every now and then the voice acting doesn't match the uh, dialogue. So it looks like he's willing to stick around for a while at least. Mm -hmm. sure. So, I need to rest up my party, but... And I'm gonna, I'm, I should check outside because there's probably an inn now that I can use or some equivalent because it, it said that I was getting restoration it said I was going to get resting bonuses but that doesn't see, that that doesn't necessarily mean that I can't rest now just without the bonuses but I'm going to take a break I've been playing for like four hours now thanks for watching guys like always things have definitely developed I went from zero party members to five party members today 
I, I mean, one from one party member to five party members and inherited an entire keep. I had a boss fight and a dungeon. Everyone almost died a couple times. It was exciting. Thanks for watching, guys.